Hi there. Today I'm going to answer the question, which is how many times are a clock's hands at 60 degrees in a 24 hour day? And the clock's hands that I'm interested in are the hour hand and the minute hand. And we're looking at this angle here that those two hands are making, and we want to see how many times that uh, those uh, two hands have a 60 degree angle in between them in a 24 hour day as the clock rotate, as the hands rotate around the clock. So the first time there is at um, is at 12:11. You can see there that's 60 degrees. And then the next time is here at 12:54. So you can see there that the hands there are making a 60 degree angle at 12:54. Uh, the third time is at uh, 116. Yep, they're making a um, 60 degree angle. And then the fourth time is at two o'clock. Exactly at two o'clock. And two o'clock, that makes an, a uh, 60 degree angle. And two o'clock's good because it's, um, you know that two o'clock then that the uh, minute hand is exactly on the 12 and the hour hand is exactly on the 2 and so you know that that will be exactly 60 degrees at exactly 2 o'clock. Now the question is how many times then do uh, will, will a clock's hands you know be at, be at that 60 degree angle in a 24 hour day? So if you want to think about the answer then click on the pause button otherwise I'm going to go straight into the answer. Now the obvious answer is that um, the hands on a clock are, uh, you know, they're at uh, 60 degrees, sort of twice every hour, there's 24 hours in a day, so that means that they must be at 60 degrees uh, 48 times in a 24 hour day, but unfortunately 48 times is incorrect, and the actual answer is 44 times, yes 44 times that the hands on a clock are at a 60 degree angle in a 24 hour day. And it's at 60 degrees because then the hands are lining up not twice every 60 minutes, but actually twice every 65 or 66 minutes. So if you think here, 12.11 was the first time, and then the second time was at 12.54, yep. And then the third time was around here at 1.16. So it wasn't here at 1.11, which would have been 60 minutes on from 12.11. It's actually down here at 1.16, which is actually about, what's that, 65 minutes on from 12.11. And when you look at it there, um, in a 24-hour day, then you've got 20 two lots of 65 minutes. So 22, and there's obviously a... In between those uh, matching at 116, there was one at uh, 1254. So there's two times every. So the clock's uh, hands are making 60 degrees two times every 65 minutes. Um, and there's 22 lots of 65 minutes um, in a 24 hour day. So 22 times two is 44 times. Now, what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to show you this simple grid of all the times in a 24-hour day that a clock's hands are at 60 degrees. So you can see here that uh, the first time I showed you 211, 254 and 116 and then uh, and then at 2 o'clock. Yep, and they're there all the times in the first 12 hours a day in the, in the morning. Up till uh, up till midday, and you can see here that uh, in the one, the one o'clock range, there's actually only one time that starts with one, two lots of twelve, two lots of twos, threes, fours, but only one lots of of uh, times that start with one, and here down at the nines, you've only got one lot of time that starts with the nine, and then you've got ten o'clock as well, exactly ten, which also gives you a sixty degree um, angle. And then the morning times then, they're all the 22 times in the morning and they're exactly the same times in the afternoon except rather than having AM, 
they have a PM and that's all your, uh, that's the total of all the times that a clock's hands are at 60 degrees to each other in a 24 hour day. There's 22 in the morning and another 22 in the afternoon and the evening and the night to give you a total of 44 times in a 24 hour day. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.